Hello and welcome to this video where we'll show you how to do setup and maintenance of your Strandberg guitar. We'll begin by changing strings. The tools you need is first of all a 2mm Allen key for intonation later, a 3mm Allen key to open and close the string locks to lock the strings, a set of nippers to cut the strings when we've completed it, and then the strings themselves. Changing strings is quick and simple once you get the hang of it. Begin by loosening the screws by turning the knob counterclockwise to loosen the string. When you get the hang of it, you can leave the knobs there, but for this video, I'll remove them completely. Now take the 3mm Allen key, insert it into the string lock and turn counterclockwise to release the string. Pull it out carefully and take it out through the rear of the tuner. If your guitar is from late 2014 or later, you can actually use a screwdriver to speed up the process. Now you can carefully pull out all the strings at the same time. Just take care they don't entangle too much because it's hard to pull them out through the back of the bridge. As you change strings, there's one thing you need to keep in mind. Inside the string lock, there's a small plate that keeps the string from snapping as you tighten the string lock. Just take care that if you ever remove the locking screws, that all of these plates remain inside. Now it's time to put the new strings in. Carefully unpack and uncoil the string and insert it through the rear of the tuner. I usually use the hex key that I use to lock it to help the string up through it. Pull the string all the way through and in through the string lock. Remove most of the slack, but it doesn't have to be very tight. Then make sure you use the tall end of the key inside the string lock and use only the short end to tighten it. This is a good trick to give just the right amount of pressure on it. Then repeat for the rest of the strings. In particular, if you're changing to heavier strings, you might have to adjust the intonation later, so make sure you have some extra slack on the strings. And then replace the knobs at the end of the tuners. Tighten them by hand, keeping track of where you are in terms of tuning until you reach the desired pitch. And if you're really careful, you can use the screwdriver here again, just to bring the strings pit quickly up to an approximate pitch. Now it's time to remove the excess string length. Simply cut the string close to the string lock. And then we're done. The next section is uh, how to change the action on your Strandberg guitar. It's really simple. Just lift the string off the bridge and to raise the action, turn the saddle counterclockwise and replace the string. Adjust the tuning if necessary. To lower the action, again, lift the string off, turn the saddle clockwise to the desired height and replace the string and change the tuning. If you've changed the gauge of strings, or the string height, you might need to adjust the intonation. 
to do this, take the harmonic on the 12th fret and compare to the fretted note on the 12th fret. If the fretted note is higher than the harmonic, you need to move the bridge backwards. If the fretted note is lower than the harmonic, you need to move the bridge forward. In this case, we need to move the bridge backwards. We loosen the tension of the string. And then we take the 2mm Allen key and use it to loosen the bridge. Again, just like with the string lock, we use the tall end to avoid over tightening. Now that the combined bridge and tuner is loose, we can move it and tighten it in the new location and retune the string to pitch. And we check the result with the fretted note and the harmonic again. Again, if you change string gauges or if you travel across climate zones or across different seasons, you might have to adjust the relief of the neck. To check the relief, fret the same string on the 1st fret and the 24th fret and then check the distance to the 12th fret. You should aim for something like a thickness of a business card for it to be optimal. Too little, then the strings will rattle when you play the lower frets. If it's too much, the strings will rattle as you play the higher frets. In this case, we had a little too much relief, so we'll adjust it with a 4mm Allen key. We tighten it only a quarter of a turn at a time, and then check the relief again. We might want to give the neck a little bit of help by nudging it. We recheck the relief, and now it looks good. <laughs> 